Hi guys, welcome back to another cake video. Today I am doing a barn house cake. I'm starting off with two six inch cake with my buttercream frosting. And now doing the crumb coat on the cake. And I'm just finishing off with my crumb coat and then I'm going to cut the bottom of my cake and then I'm going to place this on a standing position cleaning my cake board and then I'm going to add some buttercream onto the top and then I just added the part that I cut on top of my cake to add some height. And now I'm using a piping bag just to build the shape of my cake. I'm smoothing it out and doing another crumb coat. Once I'm all done with my crumb coat, I place this into the freezer for about 10 to 15 minutes and then I can start decorating. I colored my buttercream a Christmas red color. I'm using my spatula just to do an upwards motion for some texture on my barn. And I'm going to repeat the process for the sides and back as well. And I've always wanted to do a barn cake. I've always had the idea of a 3D barn house cake, but it was always trying to find the time for it. So today I was a little bit excited because I was able to just put some time aside and get my cakes ready for this cake. I'm cleaning off my cake board, getting the excess buttercream off. Now I'm using a Wilton 104 tip, which is just a rose tip. I'm going in to do the roof. And 
thanks so much for sticking around through half my videos so far wanted to add a fun fact if you've watched my about me video that was recorded last july and it talks about how many kids i have fun fact about that is i was actually also about five weeks pregnant so plus one to that total and i was such a nervous wreck when that was going on but it was such a fun experience finish off my roof I went back in with a round circle tip just to pipe along the top and with the regular buttercream I am piping on the doors onto my barn And decided to do a window as well. I'm going to put this back into the fridge once I'm done and work on my fence. I'm using Wilton candy melts to do the white fence. And the idea is just to make it uneven, give it a fun look. Once I'm done with my fence, I'm going to place this into the freezer just for it to settle. While I'm waiting for that to harden up, I'm going to go back in with my brown buttercream and just smooth that out to the front of my cake. And then I'm using the grass tip and just piping some along onto my cake. So you can see I added the fence onto the front of my cake and I'm also going to add some to the back. And this is what my cake looks like you guys. I didn't have any farm animals on hand but if you decide to make it, add those animals on there because it would look so cute. Is just what the front and the back looks like and since my baby is awake he wants to have the cake cut so let's cut into this cake strawberry and vanilla cake is what I have And of course, every time I make a cake, it's always his birthday and he loves frosting. Baby approved. 
Hopefully you guys like my tutorial on how I made this barn house cake. If you guys did, thumbs up, share, subscribe. Thanks so much for watching.